Ocarina of Time is definitely a fan favorite when it comes to the Legend of Zelda franchise, and for rightful reasons. It was extremely innovative for its time and added a whole new definition to adventure games. So, finding a single best bit for this game is actually really difficult, but I think I figured it out. The best bit for Ocarina of Time definitely has to be the first time you witness Hyrule Field. When you first started playing Ocarina of Time, you were confined to one somewhat small area, this being Kokiri Forest, and that was understandable for the time of 3D games. Staying in a singular small area, no one really expected what would come afterwards the first time they played this beautiful game. And that's when you start to explore this beautiful village, checking out every nook and cranny and loving every second of it. And eventually, you find yourself in the first dungeon with much anticipation and excitement. You find your way through this glorious three-dimensional puzzle-filled dungeon, and after it's finished, you want more. But you don't know exactly how you're going to find more. And that's when you learn about the outside world. A world outside the forest, expansive and beautiful. And even though you were told that no one from the village is allowed to leave, you find yourself at the exit to the village, completely open to you to walk out. And your instincts take over. Your thought of more adventure and dungeons brings you to step outside the safe zone of the forest and explore the open world. And as you cross the bridge and see the heart-wrenching cutscene of your main character leaving his love interest behind in the forest to embark on his quest for more adventure, you enter into Hyrule Field. But you aren't quite there yet. You have a narrow hallway to walk through, and as you reach the exit and see what you have in store, you get cock-blocked by the most perfectly placed bird in the game making you even more excited to get through his dialogue and get to your new adventure. And after the third time you accidentally tell him that you want to hear what he has to say again, you finally enter Hyrule Field. The massive environment takes you by surprise. You could never have imagined something like this could ever exist in a video game till you saw it with your own eyes. Giant mountains off in the distance, fields as far as the eye can see, and on the opposite side of the field, a giant castle and the town that looks so much more intriguing than your little forest town. It has to be one of the most exciting, beautiful, and awesome experiences one can ever experience in a game. And that is exactly why so many people love Ocarina of Time. It was an experience that can never be forgotten, and it was larger than life. And that is exactly why the best bit of Ocarina of Time is your first visit to Hyrule Field.